Diana and wine. Okay, so I got the inspiration to, to um, well, at work we were talking about YouTube videos and such, and putting them on and having YouTube things, and I remembered that I've had two vlogs. That means just two videos that are vlogs. So I decided that um, I would actually create something more. And also, I got this really fantastic and interesting wine um, yesterday. And when I say I got it, I mean that Jennifer, my older sister, bought it and then I'm drinking all of it. Um, it's called Apothic Inferno and it is pretty tasty. It's um, aged in whiskey barrels, which well, the first thing that drew me to it was, of course, the label, because that's the most important part in buying wine ever. But then um, when I read it, I saw that it was aged in whiskey barrels, which is something that always catches my attention when I'm buying a new alcohol or just browsing for alcohol. So before I get into that, though, the actual wine, I want to talk about Apothic a little bit. So Apothic makes a really good... Um, red blend, a really good white blend. I like their red blend better, but they come out with um, with different varieties and, and um, well not actually varieties, different blends uh, according to the season and stuff. One they came out with two or three years ago is Apothic Dark, which when I tried it, um, I thought it fell a little flat, but everybody else loved it. Like my uncle like wanted to buy a whole case of it, which isn't surprising if you know my uncle. But, um, I, I was, it was okay. Uh, the red I really do like. The, that one is really good, like, oh, so good. Then last February, I think, around that time, around Valentine's Day, they came out with Crush, which I never ended up trying, which I might do a, a video on at some point. But those wines are all $9.99 at the store where I work, so... They're pretty, they're good wines for a pretty decent price. Um, this one is $12.99. It's probably that mu much more because it is 15.9% alcohol rather than um, the, I would say probably like 9% maybe that the regular ones are. So, all right. I tried this last night, which um, we, we tried it just out of the bottle, not chilled at all, which it seemed like it was a little too intense, so I think it's probably best, as with most red wines, if you let it chill in the fridge for 15 minutes before you open it. And I would say that this is, I mean, just the smell alone, it's, it's very whiskey-like. Like, it, it smells like a, a really nice, um, It smells like a really nice, like, whiskey, almost. But then you drink it. <coughs> and you choke on it. <coughs> and then you realize how much red wine it is. Um, it says on the back, of course, which, which is where you can get most of your information about how you're supposed to feel about the wine. Um, red and dark fruit flavors combined with layers of maple and spice. It's definitely maple and spice there. Um, I think there's vanilla. There's, it's, it's a little bit sharp for, I think, a red wine. But, Shannon, you have to be in the video now. No. <sighs> but, um, I think it, it, Finishes just like my favorite Malbec, which is that, um, has like a really nice, like, red wine pepperiness at the end after you, you finish. Um, Shannon has now ruined everything. And she's drinking her Soylent, which is an aberration in nutrition and food enjoyment. Um, anyway, this wine is better cold, I'd say probably 50 to 60 degrees. If you leave it in the fridge overnight, I'd say that's probably not a good idea because then it's too cold. But probably like 30 minutes in the, f in the fridge is good. Um, I'd say keep to smaller portions too. 
um, or even just maybe pour it like over an ice cube or something because watering it down is probably a good idea quite honestly um i think that's just about all i have to say about that uh doesn't this bottle look so cool maybe i'll put pictures up anyway oh yeah i wanted to say also it's a small batch limited release which means like uh apothic dark they usually make around like 5,000 cases a year or so. This, they made 3,000 cases, which 12 bottles a case, that's 36,000 bottles. So if you find it, you probably should buy one and try it. And if you don't like it, you can just give it to me, please. Okay, bye.